time. Let's turn to our lead story here at the BBC at the moment. It's the ongoing search for flight MH370. Now, the Malaysian authorities are calling these two pictures a credible lead. These are satellite pictures which show two pieces of debris about 25 metres long uh, in the sea. And really, this is the first, uh, what they're calling, credible sighting in a number of days. Let's have a look at exactly where these pictures were taken. Um, if we go in on the map, you'll see this is Australia, but actually you have to go two and a half thousand kilometres to the southwest of Perth to see exactly where the debris has been sighted. Now, uh, let me explain a little bit more about this search effort because a number of countries are involved. So there we have some of the details of the search that's underway. Let me just pull up this tweet from the Malaysian Transport Ministry. It's saying there remains much work to be done to deploy the assets. This work will continue overnight. And that's going on at the moment to get more planes and boats in place to carry on searching this area. Well, the Australian Air Force has been involved. Let me show you some pictures we've got of a plane just coming back. Um, this is actually just before it took off, but then it was, was to come back a little bit later on and the Australian government told us that uh, in spite of their efforts, uh, they were really hampered by overcast weather which prevented them from finding the debris that they were looking for. Now, a couple of hours ago, I mentioned uh, on BBC OS, our Twitter account, that we were going to be joined by Andrew Charlton, an aviation expert, to answer some of your questions. Let's go and uh, speak to Andrew and work through some of the queries you've been raising. Hi, Andrew. Good um, afternoon. Thank you very much to those of you who've been tweeting us. Let's start with a message here um, from Tom Black, a master's aerospace student in the north of England, who says, why do black boxes not just stream all of their data to the cloud? It's a good question, but unfortunately the answer is it's extraordinarily expensive. It would take huge amounts of satellite capacity and satellite spectrum. And of course, most of the time we don't need it. The aircraft arrives 99.99% of the time perfectly well. Another question here from John in Ashby, uh, who says, please can you ask your expert why some of this debris might be floating? Wouldn't it all have sunken by this point? It's a good question again, but I suspect if we're looking for a 25 metre piece of metal, the only way I can assume that would continue to float is that it's a wing, which for a start would account for it being 25 metres long, which is very long. And secondly, it would have a fuel tank in it. And if the aircraft had flown until it ran out of fuel, the fuel tank obviously would be empty, and so it would be a buoyancy device, and it would continue to float. A couple of other quick questions for you. Steve Finn would like to ask, if the plane did end up in this location, what's the most likely explanation for it being there? It's my belief, and we are speculating on a lot of speculation here, so we need to be very careful. But I suspect there was some catastrophic event that took the power out on the aeroplane. Was it a fire? Was it an explosion? We may never know. The aircraft, the captain then tried to turn the aircraft to Langkawi, which is a, an, air, an airfield not surrounded by mountains, very easy to land on. He tried to take it there. He took the aircraft very high in the hope that he could take the oxygen out of the fire. They had no power, they had no communications. Something terrible happened. The aircraft just kept on flying. One more question for the moment, and this one I was wondering myself. Uh, Rat Khanna, getting in touch throughout BBC OS, says, if it crashed in this area, why did radar not pick it up descending and then hitting the sea? Because it crashed a very long way from the edge of any radar range. Radar is a ground-based, land-based system, and it has a limited range. Thanks to all of you for watching. We'll be back on the radio tomorrow, back on the TV on Monday. See you then. Bye-bye.